it really is a timely moment for this. I think there is a zeitgeist for not only the message and meaning of the film, but it also, it's a pretty full on thing to sort of take a beloved text like Hamlet and then reinvent it and try to make it feel contemporary. Um, it is still 14th century, it's still in castles and has all these epic kind of set pieces and, and I feel is quite faithful to the original story, but it's reimagining it and that in itself is a little bit of a, it's a bit of a tall order. So yeah, it, it's quite nerve wracking to see how an audience will respond to that. My attention many many years ago off the back of a film that I had made with Rose Byrne the producer saw it and somehow imagined that I could do it um, the film I had made was almost social realist it was um, very raw and emphasizing a naturalistic approach to performance so they approached me I loved this script I just thought it was something really fresh something timely and salient that we really hadn't seen. And I was quite familiar with Hamlet as well. So I kind of pitched on it really hard and ended up getting the job and then spent years and years and years trying to convince these amazing people to be a part of the project. And here we are. It didn't take a lot of convincing, really. Um, it was just some schedule stuff to, to, to figure out. But I too um, just saw that this was a very timely fresh way of telling um, this this very well-known story and to reinvent it in a, in a way, um, you know, m and changing the victim to a hero um, was, was incredibly important and powerful. Um, and I loved from the very first meeting with Claire, how she spoke about it, her visuals, she just had these elaborate um, lookbooks. Um, so she'd obviously, she was very well prepared. It's led by Ophelia and, and this time, um, in this telling, she's not a tragic um, waif type victim. She's someone who's taking control of her own destiny. I really loved the way, you know, we were turning it um, in, in full circle and, and, and driving it from the woman's point of view, um, particularly because a lot of the times the women in, in all Shakespearean plays are, if they're strong, they're mad. Mm. Um, and if, if they're, they're weak, they're tragic and um, damsel in distress kind of thing. So there's a, a real commercial viability to it, I think, because we are, we are um, it, telling it from a, a point of view of, of the woman, but also um, the love story still driving it. And, um, and all these characters are, um, it, from the female point of view are, are just completely different. And, and that's worth taking a look at, I think. I was, it was, it was felt very contemporary to me, although we were obviously sticking to the story and uh, reworking some of the actual text. It, it always felt like a very uh, a contemporary story and something that was very relevant today. And I think, I think the words kind of go, go hand in hand with that. Yeah, it was a tricky one to get the syntax right because we didn't want it to feel uh, like this is a film for Shakespeare experts. So it's a tough call and, 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 and not losing the sublime essence of some of the, the famous soliloquies and monologues that we've known from the original text. So it was really tricky sort of working that out and, and having so many years to develop it and Semi Chalice's beautiful script. I mean, she's got a real grasp of language and, <coughs> and then working with these wonderful artists, you know, really drilling down into the words and figuring out, you know, what is the slight difference between saying one thing or another, still having the, the essence of the original meaning, but not making it feel like it's like, yo, you know, like we're suddenly in, you know, that's sort of, there's a weird zone somewhere in between that, that we were living in that hopefully didn't dumb down or lose the essence of the original. It's, it's a new thing, it's its own beast in terms of we're not using the words from, from the play, because otherwise that would, it wouldn't allow any movement for a reinterpretation. I think if you're trying to cherry pick certain lines and fill them with a new s subtext, I mean, it it would just, I just don't think it would it would come across. So we've found I think a you know a beautiful hybrid that allows us to to do that. And I think the the kind of dichotomy of the old setting and where it's from and the kind of contemporary way that Claire and Semi have uh, explored is what makes the film interesting. Mm -hmm.